The Xbox original console is an absolutely amazing console, but is it worth having in 2021? We're gonna talk about that in this video. We're gonna talk about the console itself, the controller, of course the games, and I'm gonna let you know what I think about the Xbox original and why I think it is either worth it or not worth it in 2021. Let's check it out. Let's go ahead and start with the console. Now, as you can see, this is a special edition one. This is the Halo special edition. And also, this is a big console. If you're looking for a small console to fit in your entertainment system or something, this is not it. But this is an awesome system. It is totally cool. It is big and bulky, but it does look amazing. Now, first off, you see the four controller points on the front here you've got the eject button you've got the power button obviously your disc tray then on the back you've got your power uh some ethernet and then the uh, uh said power over here the power here and then the actual av now these are awesome systems and they're pretty big but they also happen to be pretty durable i have a bunch of these and most of them actually still work um but there are some awesome things that the Xbox One uh, doesn't have that the Xbox original does. Like this Mountain Dew one, look how awesome this thing is. It is amazing. This is like one of 5,000. Uh, they have some pretty awesome special edition ones and this is probably one of my favorite. Again, a cool Xbox look. Um, if you're looking for a nice console, I feel like this one looks amazing and would r work really well in your entertainment area or wherever you keep your consoles. The next thing I want to talk about is the controller and why I absolutely love this controller. Now this is not the Duke. The Duke is the one that is huge and honestly I don't really like that controller. It's big and bulky and it's just not comfortable. However, this, the smaller, the slim one is absolutely amazing. Now, don't judge me, this one has like paint on it. I don't know why, but it's the same color as uh, an Xbox green is, so I'm not gonna complain too much. But this controller is absolutely amazing. This is what started off all the awesome controllers we got from Xbox, and I absolutely love this one. I think it is comfortable. I think this one is kind of underrated when it comes to controllers and comfortability, because really, you just put your fingers there, all your fingers line up with the buttons and then everything just works out and also has the two ports whereas like the Nintendo 64 only had one. Uh, this one is a controller that I feel like people don't talk about enough. This is a very comfortable controller for back in its day. Now if they would have made an actual wireless one like this, uh, I know Logitech made some for the Xbox, but if Xbox would have made a wireless one like this, I would have absolutely loved it. And really, this controller just feels so great. You've got the bright colors of the buttons. Also, you've got a few extra buttons that most controllers just don't have. And so I feel like the Xbox original controller was actually kind of ahead of its day and it was really comfortable. Okay, so enough about the console and the controller. We're gonna talk about games. But first, I wanna talk about how cheap and how easy it is to get games for the system. And then we'll talk about the games that I absolutely think you should get for this system that really make this system. But the cool thing about it right now in 2021 is that if you see these games like for the Xbox, you see them in like thrift stores, you're not gonna pay that much for these games. I see these games from a dollar to two dollars to three dollars, four dollars. And usually they don't go much more higher than that. And that is an awesome thing. There are some amazing games that I have found at the thrift stores, at flea markets, at pawn shops. People just don't value the Xbox original games. And that is absolutely amazing and is something I had to mention in this because if you're wanting to grow a game collection and you're kind of trying to decide if the Xbox original is worth it, um, I think depending on how cheap the games are, that can actually help or hurt the system. So this system, the Xbox original, has a ton of awesome cheap games. I can't tell you how many times I have found an Xbox original game at the thrift store for three or four bucks, came home, played it, and have an absolutely blast. Now, I will say there's a ton of games on it, and just thinking about one, Shrek, I bought this for two bucks. $2. Uh, now this isn't the best game. Obviously it's not going to make it on my list of games you should buy, but it's 
it's one of those games that takes you back to the Shrek days. First off, Shrek is amazing, so that goes there, but uh, there, it's just one of those games that you could see. You could pick up for three or four bucks and sit down and have some fun. Are you gonna have the most enjoyment ever? No, but for three bucks, it's definitely going to be well worth it. But enough about how cheap the games are. Let's talk about some games you should get. Now, I have a big stack of games, and I don't want you to think this is the end-all, be-all. These are just games I just grabbed off my wall here of games off the shelves and I want you guys to either look into these games or look at these games and hopefully they'll let you see how great of a console this is. I am just gonna go and run through them. I don't want to spend too much time because you can find out for yourself whether or not you want these games or not. But honestly, um, there's some amazing games here. First off, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2X. Now this combines some things from one and two now i know they remade it blah 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 on the new stuff but playing it on the xbox original you you gotta do it you gotta do it if you own an xbox original spider-man anytime a spider-man game comes out and you can fly around and swing from webs and just have a ton of fun it, it's a great game in my book it's just so amazing then we've got star wars battlefront now this isn't the second one but i want to specify something this one's awesome, the second one's awesome, and every other Star Wars game on the Xbox original, which there's a bunch, I have like 10 down there on the shelf. They're all amazing and you should definitely play them. Simpsons Road Rage, Simpsons Hit and Run is also on the Xbox original. Both of these games are amazing, just a ton of fun. If you haven't played them, you definitely should. Metal Slug 3, I am a huge Metal Slug fan, so when I saw this game was on the Xbox original, I just had to have it. I'm so glad I did. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, obviously it's GTA, it's a ton of fun. Um, this is one of those games that's just amazing and is great, and if you haven't played this one, you definitely should. Moving on, we've got House of the Dead 3, again, this is a great game. I love this game. It's just so fun. And if you haven't played it, you definitely should. Uh, Fable, the, this is the Lost Chapters. There is an amazing game of Fable and having it on the Xbox original. It, it just takes me back to those days. Uh, you know what I'm talking about if you played this back in the day. Burnout, I didn't want to just say one Burnout. So I grabbed the first one and said, all of the burnouts on the Xbox original are just a ton of fun and are amazing. Then I've got a game that I actually really love and it's Backyard Wrestling 2 There Goes the Neighborhood. I'm a huge fan of Body Count which has Ice-T and that song is actually the theme song and it's got a guy from ICP in it. You can't go wrong with something that's this over the top. Pick it up, it's cheap, just pick it up, it's a ton of fun. Last but not least, Halo and this is just the game to me that made Xbox and really grew it into what it was. So I cannot talk about the Xbox without talking about Halo. And I want you to know, I have a ton of other games. Now, I've got a bunch of games down back here that are like my more expensive, more of the showy off ones, but I didn't want to include those on this list because those are the expensive games. I wanted to include games that made this console worth having. And honestly, all these games that I just talked about are pretty cheap. Uh, some of them are more expensive than others, obviously, but these are all great games that you should have. Now, if you're looking for more games on the xbox original i'm glad to help you out with that i also have another video or two about it so if you want to know more about that just let me know but these are some great games and i think you should definitely check this out is the xbox original worth owning in 2021 if you like retro games yes 100 percent yes it is definitely worth having the controller is amazing the consoles look awesome. The games are not only cheap, but they are also awesome as well. If you like those old school games, you like retro games, I love the Xbox because it's not as old as some of the other games, like the cartridge games that are harder to find, but it's not as new and pricey as other systems. I feel like the Xbox original is just right in there for the perfect place to either start collecting or to grow that collection. I think it's an amazing console and I love playing my Xbox. Every time it is hooked up to this TV, I spend way too much time playing it, and I wanted you guys to know that. So, with that being said, that's all I got. Peace.